Hey, I'm, in, I'm uh, here with another tutorial, and this time it's how to um, how to work Cydia. So I jailbreak a bunch of my friends' iPods, and well, unfortunately, most of them don't know how to work Cydia. So, and they always ask me at school stuff like that. Um, how do I work Cydia? So I decided to make this tutorial on how to make it pretty simple. One of the worst things about Cydia though is that the load time. As you saw over there, it, it was like, I was, it was already half done loading when I started this video. But uh, like, the load times it could get pretty annoying. So, like, we're in the middle of like, downloading something and you can start loading randomly, like reloading the data. Okay, well, this is the home screen as you can see. Uh, it's nothing too good. It's it's nice, but it's nothing too good. Um, second. See, loading again. It, it could get really annoying. So, uh, like I was saying over there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like a little, a little like, uh, red rectangle box circle thingy right there. Those are like Cydia features, and most of the time they are paid. So, um, oh my gosh, it's really annoying. Uh, like, Cydia has its own store. So, whoever thinks that everything on Cydia is free, it's not. There are things that are, that do cost, and they can cost a lot, but, like, I'm, later in the video I'm going to show you how to, uh, like, how to make sure you're not downloading anything that, that costs money. So, okay, there it go, it's done. Um, that's the screen, and I'm going to go back to, excuse, that's the Cydia store, right? Right there. I'm not gonna click that. Click cancel. At the bottom of the Cydia, there's five tabs. There's the Cydia Home tab, which is in right the uh, other side, right there. There's search uh, sections. Sorry. There's uh, changes, manage, and search. Uh, I'm gonna go through all those today. Um, sections right here. They could have done something better with it, like, it's nice, but it's nothing really nice with it, it's just sections. There's, uh, depending on how many sources you have added, there will be more or less sections. I don't really have a lot of sources, and this isn't really that many sections. A lot of people have, like, thousands, because they just all so they just completely just add sources every day. Um, that's it. You got you got your games, you got your themes down there. Right there, themes, winterboard, stuff like that. I'll do a tutorial on how to use and get winterboard and how to download the themes and stuff, but not today. Okay, there's changes. I like changes because it, it right there it shows you everything that's new with uh every newly added stuff that came to Cydia. On uh, like certain days and stuff. Uh but I like to scroll through that every once in a while, check out themes, check out what, what I get with it. Um, but if, you, if you're not really interested in that and you just want to update your stuff, uh, on Cydia, there should be like a little one, like the App Store. When you update a th uh, when you update like an app from the App Store, there should be like a one that indicates that there's an update for it. So if, if you see that on the Cydia, um, you go to Changes, and up at the top, right there somewhere, there should there should be um like an upgrade like an upgrade little thing thingy so um but I don't have anything right there because I keep all my stuff up to date but there uh there should be like there should be like some things like in that and like in there ish so I recommend keeping everything up to date with that so it's the manage tab right there let's start with storage something too uh nothing too great it's good it just gives you like a brief telling of what you have but it's good it tells you your system tells you your private uh that's pretty much it let's go back to the manage let's go to sources um a bunch of my friends they, they don't really know how to get more games or more sources on uh on Cydia I try telling them it doesn't really get through to them you go to edit on sources and then right there you go to add and you type in you, your uh, URL, which is like the website or the host of these games or the software or whatever you want to download. 
but I don't want to do that right now, so I'm just going to cancel that and click done. I don't have a lot of sources right now. That that line right. Oh my God, once again, I messed up. Okay, uh, the that line right there is uh is the breakpoint of my uh my uh, sources that I've added and the sources that Cydia gave me, like the recommended sources. Um, it, unless you like know that the sources are viruses or something, don't download them. But, but it really doesn't matter. I don't think so anyways. There's the last, oh, wait a minute, I forgot one thing. Packages. All my friends are like, yeah, I downloaded from Cydia, how, how do you delete it? Um, the problem with Cydia is that you can't delete off the home screen. You gotta delete from Cydia. Because since Cydia isn't really official on the iPod Touch or the iPhone, it, it you can't really delete off the home screen. Uh, unless I'm wrong, unless Sammy knows the, the real answer or something, just comment, like leave a comment, or just tell me, message me, and I'll fix it. Um, just, like, I recommend if you don't know what you're deleting, see there's a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 theme, I could delete that. So, um, right there, and then same thing when you install and stuff, click that, you remove, or you reinstall, and then you click confirm, it'll go to this black screen. It's, it's the same thing as installing, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you like the install in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing as install, I'll just go to the black screen, you can't really, you can exit the black screen, but it'll stop the install, or stop, it'll stop the download. Um, like, go back to Cydia, depending on some things you download, you have to like, maybe soft restart, or like, res like, respring your iPod, restart your iPod, uh, but nothing too bad, unless you have a tethered, like, I have a tethered, I got this during Christmas, so, yeah, tethered unfortunately. But I recommend if you don't know what you're downloading, I mean if you don't know what you're deleting, don't delete it. Cause like I, I deleted I delete I uh like I deleted part of my firmware by accident and it all like screwed up my iPod. I had to restore it. This this may look like a lot of things I've downloaded, but they're all they're all like pre downloaded things from like p bits and pieces of my iPod and my firmware. And I think I deleted one of the core things. But yeah, just if you don't know what it is, don't delete it. Let's go down to search. So it's not it's, not, uh, it's nothing too great, but but I I, I like it. So uh, but oopsies, it's a bit hard working this upside down. So there we go. I'm searching. In. Let's just search G or T. Oh, I hit T. Whatever. There we go. The search can be a little bit laggy at times, but just got to cope with it. It comes up with a lot of stuff, like, even when you type in full words and stuff, it still comes up with a lot of stuff, but somehow you you find it, no problem. Like, out of all this stuff, you can find what you're, what you're doing, like, you do that, you'd be like, oh, there it is. But, uh, it comes up with a lot of stuff, you can just, like, search around. It's, it's really easy to work, I, I like it. So, it's just, it's, it, okay, whatever. Oh, there we go, now it works. Uh, see right there, it was just a little bit jumpy. Okay, so we're back in sections, and I'm going to show you how oh my God, how to determine if uh, so again, there we go, how to determine if something is paid. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down here, uh, right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but right there, oh, I missed it. Right there, uh, right there is um a blue. It, it's like it's a blue typed le like the blue lettering. That means it's paid from the Cydia store. And I I know if you don't have a Cydia account, it'll be fine because they can't really charge you. But it's always good to know. So um, but the ones that have just the black writing are free. So this is how you're going to install. So I went to something black. You click install right in the corner. I think it should come up. It gives you all the information, how much space it's going to use, what firmware it's supposed to be used for, who's uh, the installer of it. And you click it. And that's it. Like, there's nothing really too special about Cydia. 
it's pretty fast, and there's nothing really too special about it. It'll go to this black screen. If you exit out of this black screen, because I don't want to download it, yeah, 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 I could leave it in the background. Go back to it. It'll put you back to the black screen, but if you leave for long enough, it's not going to download properly. And now I have to delete that. So, that's pretty much it. And this video is just under, and like, just over um, 10 minutes. So, thanks for watching and coping. So, if I did every if I did anything wrong or you want to add something, you have a question, just comment or leave me a message. Um and please subscribe. Okay? Okay, bye.